you know, a lot of people want to talk about KD whoring and Battlefield and th such like that. And I didn't really have anything to put over this, and I, but I really wanted to talk about it. And I knew if I put it off, I couldn't. I'd probably never remember to talk about it again. So I'm going to talk about it on the spur of the moment. So this is a low effort video for the win. <laughs> yeah, like, I love that shit sound, huh? Um, yeah. Last couple videos I posted didn't have commentary whatsoever on them, and that's because they're little quick videos to the point, either showing off like a good opening attack or showing off something I've been finding a lot of success with. And a lot of this comes to boil out that, you know, commentators play bad players. Well, universally, anybody that goes big, be it a 90 in 10 game, you're versus bad players. I don't care who you are, where you are. I don't know how many players out there drop a 90 spot on MLG settings with you know versus Stainville and them. It doesn't happen. You know why it doesn't happen? Because they're good players. So generally, games that are more normally accepted in the YouTube variety have to be against players that you know a little more issues issues. And that's the reason behind that. It's not that you know like me or Tmar or Woody play bad players on the norm. It's just that we put up the games that we do well in and the games that we do extremely well in generally have bad players and that's the whole mo moise with that it's not that we play all day until we run into bad players you know bad players are pretty much take up 60 to 70 percent of the gaming community and it's not that they want to be bad players they don't have the time to put into it they have other things in life they got to do they can't put as much time or commitment into it as say a other person and you know they're a core of our fan base but at the same time most of the people that watch videos on YouTube are the people that are a little bit more die hard and want to become a little bit better that want to own their friends at Modern Warfare 2 or Battlefield 3 that want to have you know the strategies or you know tips they might not have thought up themselves or you know, or maybe they would have thought up themselves, but, you know, they just didn't put their thought process in that area or field yet. And just showing little quirky things. And I'm pretty much convinced that there's nothing that will stop camping. You know why nothing will stop camping? Because here is the pretty much solid base of what a camper is. When you first buy a first person shooter, it is hard to move. You don't understand how to move, you don't understand traffic. You're struggling to grasp the game. You're struggling to grasp flow flow patterns in the map. You don't even know what a flow pattern is. All you know is you have a gun. You don't know how to aim really well. You struggle hitting people. And generally in a 1v1 confrontation, you lose. Boom. That is all you know. You're not thinking about chopper gunners. You're not thinking about dogs. But you know if you get three kills, you get that UAV. The UAV can let you sneak up on somebody else and get you that fourth kill, wherever it may be. Maybe you can luck out and get a fifth. Um, kill streaks help it a little. It does promote camping a little bit or a little bit more defensive style play. But on the long run, it, it also goes against it because in the same aspect where he's camping for his UAV, you on the other hand can sneak up on three people, get a UAV, and see where he's camping at. But that was the gist of it until Ghost or Assassin took over the Modern Warfare kind of things. But that's all thrown out the window when Battlefield because there is no kill streaks. There's vehicles and there's kits and that's it. You you have two bombs, you got to go plant them, or you got four, three or four flags you got to capture. Then why do people camp in these game modes? You, you, you don't get rewarded for it. There's no the magical fairy. You're not going to come all of a sudden steamroll on the map with an AC-130. They can't because it's the most successful form or way that they can do good in the game. And people camp for different reasons. Like me, I play defensive. A lot of people call it camping because they just are buttered. I don't know. I play defensive because I like to hold a line. Holding a line is actually a real life strategy. World War I is a good example of holding a line. People would get down to trenches. They would dig it in, and they would put their bolt-action rifles out, and anybody come running across the field, i.e. Mr. Rusher, would get dropped down by like 50 volleys of uh, 30 caliber bullets. That's pretty much how it worked. Machine guns came available from higher maxim. They used the X pattern. All of a sudden, holding the line became very, very vicious, and the guys with the bolt-action rifles all of a sudden became to protect the machine guns 
or or in the carry ammo for the machine guns. But that's real life. All Nero say this is a video game. People need to play to have fun. Goes back to the same understanding. The people that are sitting in that corner are playing at the best way they know how to have fun. They will eventually move out of there or they'll just quit playing most of the time. Every now and then there is that Bigfoot guy that has 50 days played with like a 0.89 KD and doesn't give a fuck. He stoned off his mind. You can't, but he is a very, very microscopic animal in the moat. He is so diluted, it, you hardly ever find him. You know, you have people, you have a hundred people playing, they won't find him. But on the other hand, those people are playing at the best of their ability because nobody wants to die. Nobody likes dying. I, ca I cannot, you cannot find a person that goes, well, instead of getting that three man spray, I'm glad I got shot in the back because that's a lot more fun. People want to do well. People want to succeed. They want to feel like they've accomplished something and that's where online multiplayer co pretty much comes into the play where they feel like they've accomplished something when they get the three man spray they felt like they outplayed somebody somewhere else in the world and that's good and grand that's the pretty much the heart of video games people play video games for a different reason just because somebody's played for their kill death ratio does not mean that they're that the person that played with the win ratio is having more fun all that means is they have two different objectives in mind when they're playing the game. If somebody wants to walk around with RPGs on their f and shoot themselves in the foot, I don't agree with it per se, but that's what he is doing. And that leads to the whole argument of can you are you allowed to do that when you set in a multiplayer setting? Which that'll be a whole nother video because I understand the concept of, you know, I paid my money, I can play it how I want, but if you you also pay your money to join like a softball league, but can you like pick your nose and like scratch your balls and look at look look over the center field bleachers while they're playing the game? No, you'll get kicked off of the game. But just reasoning all together, and a lot of people go back to putting the blame as commentators that play a lot for their KD. A lot the reason we do that is because we have to play the game for so long, and you need a barometer. The, uh, like like a little self title to see you get yourself better. Me, I actually go for both. I want to win the game, and I want to win the game with as high as KD as possible. I don't I don't accept anything less. And uh, it got you kind of get become like a megalomaniac when you, in that terms. But do I think do I think uh, campers will ever die? No, there's no way you can stop campers. You could set it up so that a camper dies instantly, and the person running around the most gets a kill. And people would still camp. You know, they would just figure out how to camp. You know what they would do? They would walk corner to corner until you came across that went until they seen you come across that street and then shoot you through the windowsill and just keep walking corner to corner. It'd just be less convenient for them and make people buy the game less. But the campers are always going to be there. Um, the best way to do it is I've always said it like this: I can beat a camper. It's a hider that I hate. And hiders are in the same same ballpark as a, as people that play defensive, or that we get jumbled up against them. A hider is the guy we've talked about throughout most of this video. The guy that is new to the game, struggling with his aim, un doesn't understand what's really going on. That's why he doesn't play the objective, and he gets that kill on you for sitting in the corner of castle or wherever game you're playing. Guy camping, he generally has a purpose. He knows what he's doing, holding a choke point. And you, you pretty much have to prepare for them, and you take them out by a simple means, be the explosive grenade launcher, noob tube, stun, flash. There's a million and a one arsenals. I mean, like Battlefield, you could take a fucking tank to them. Tank, RPG. There's a, num a numerous ways to do it, or blow the wall up and shoot them. You know, campers generally only take advantage of people that are unwilling to change up what they're actually doing, i.e. running around with a submachine gun instead of, like, switching to a rifle to take him out of his perch or avoiding them altogether and letting his, and telling your buddy with a rifle to take him out of the perch, things like that that, you know, coordinate tactics. That's why I always feel like the Battlefield games hinder themselves in, or, like, shoot themselves in the foot while they have a whole different... Judge, they have a whole different setup. They have a whole different style of gameplay, but they have a t it's more of a tactical shooter. It's caused more of a twitch shooter. You kind of shoot yourself in the foot by not being a my. I don't know what I'm saying here, I, so it's not really that much of a clear thought. So I'm just going to drop it. But that's just my my piece on um. Pretty much KD whoring or people in general, because like right now you'll see people camping in a Battlefield 3 beta. 
and there is no reason for them to, to camp in the beta at all. They don't know about the stats. They can't see the stats unless they go online. Half the people are too lazy to even go online. Um, but yet they're still sitting in corners. They're still hiding underground. You might, you sit there getting shot by, like for example, a bomb on the first base of Taurus getting shot by people underground. You know why they're underground? It's not to pad their KD. It's because it's one of the few ways they can get kills and feel good about themselves. And then you got people that troll. And that's a whole different ballpark. It's been your boy Wings of Redemption. Check out my Facebook in the link below. If you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, and tell me what you thought. Comment section.